Hey guys, how you doing? Let's have a beer. Better late than never. Cheers to another great week here in Polk County. Thanks for your patience. Uh, we had a little power outage uh, with one of our guests from across the pond, and we wanted to make sure that uh, Stephen was able to join us. So we'll wait for a good friend any day, and thanks for waiting on us. What's everybody drinking? Of course, Jan has her wine. Mm -hmm. Yep. And I've got uh, Blue Moon with uh, citrus in it because we have got to support our citrus farmers. Mm -hmm. Jennifer Sykes, yeah, she's checking in. Woohoo, Jennifer, glad you're with us tonight. What are you drinking? Cheers to another great week here in Polk County. You know, we're social distancing, mm -hmm. but we're not being social distanced. And that's why Jan and I started Let's Have a Beer several months ago. And uh, this club's open. We've got live entertainment. We've got fun. We've got a, a, a challenge from across the pond tonight. And it's BYOB. So this club is open. What's everybody drinking? Chat with us on the chat box, and we're going to get started. So uh, Mama Jean, everybody wants to know about Mama Jean. And uh, I tell you what, Mama Jean is uh, doing well, and uh, but she's really upset with the uh, NBA right now. She's going to come up and talk about the NBA in the bubble over here in Orlando, uh, just east of us. And she goes, Raj, I'm not ready to go on the show because I'm not happy with the NBA. I don't think they're doing what they should be doing to keep everybody healthy and safe. And she doesn't think the season is going to happen. So what that equates to is she's going to be back next week talking about what she thinks about the NBA. But what she really meant was, you tell them. Well, she didn't want to put her makeup on for 30 minutes. <laughs> hey, I can't Just to more. take it off to go to bed later. So cheers. We hope you've had a great week. What's everybody drinking? Hey, uh, Keith is checking in. Keith, thank you. Dave Elder, thank you. Uh, Dave is checking in from Connecticut up there. So uh, we appreciate uh, Dave. And a uh, funny story here. Uh, Jan was on Dave's show. They're one of our sister radio stations, CTY. And he caught wind of uh, Jan's, uh, your concoction from last week, mm -hmm. the whiskey, whiskey sours. sours. Mm -hmm. And in case somebody wants that recipe, what is it, Jan? Give it to him one more time. Okay, you take a frozen can of lemonade, thaw it out a little bit. You put in a can of Seagram 7 or whatever whiskey you want. Yes. Two cans of ice, and you blend it all together. If you want the little frothy stuff at the top, you put in an egg. Blend it. That's it. Super yeah. simple. You know, we had so much fun with that last week. I dug out the water wiggle out of the garage. Hey, yeah. It was a lot of fun. It went all over the backyard. You know what the water wiggle is. And she's going to make another batch in the blender this weekend. And I went to Walmart this afternoon and got a slip and slide. Mm. We're going to wet that thing down. And what's really fun You're about really this, fun. what's really fun about this thing is we don't have a fence in the backyard. We live in a corner. So anybody in and out of the neighborhood is going to see me doing slip and slide. Yeah. Should I wear my red, white, or blue Speedo? Which one should uh, I wear? The red one. Okay. We'll wear the red one this weekend. So anyway. Thank you for joining us tonight on Let's Have a Beer. We've got lots of guests to get to. And ladies and gentlemen, she is back. We welcome Crazy Terry back to the show. How you been? We've missed you, Crazy Terry. Well, you know, I've been hiding from my family because I live in Florida and they think they can come to vacation here. And I'm like, no, you can't. There's a pandemic. What a great excuse. I ain't for a pandemic, <laughs> but I'm just going to tell you right now, I'm using it to my advantage. Now, if they look up the word pandemic, that pandemic that'll help because I don't know if they even know what that means. They think it's another theme park. <laughs> Lord. Look, I'm totaling my little tea because I can't oh, drink man. anymore. Look, I'm fancy, Mr. England. So why why know, can't you drink anymore? Fancy. Well... The last time I drank, which was last week, and I happened to tell my cousin Charlie that his butt teeth got into a room 10 minutes before he did, and I was a little too honest about that, and then everybody in my family got mad because I was making fun of his teeth, so now I have to behave myself. <laughs> so I don't call another family drama. <laughs> so, Roger, my family's going on vacation and trying to find things to do with the family so they can't come to Florida. So my sister was telling me that she wanted to do something with her grandkids. So she said, oh, I took them to a taxidermist and let them watch them work. And I'm like, Lord God, she thinks that's a Build-A-Bear in the mountains. And I'm like, Lord, who does that? Your kids are just going to be traumatized. We already know one thing. She's a baked potato. And now you got this Build-A-Bear thinking, oh, Lord, let's stuff a deer and let's take him home and put an outfit on him. Lord, I don't know what to do with them. 
<laughs> then my other sisters decided that she wants to go to Alabama because they have this big old statue of a gold peanut that she wants to see. It's in Dothan, Alabama, if you want to go see it. I'm like, Lord, they're going to go see a big old nut. It's like my family visiting the mothership. I'm like, Y'all have a good time, Lord. Then my other sister, Lord help her, Cindy Renee, I love her, but gosh, when God said, let me give you some brain, she says, give me a train and give one off track. I'm like, Lord. So she has decided that Elvis is still alive and that he's an Elvis impersonator in Gatlinburg. And I'm like, well, he tried to get away from being Elvis when he disappeared. Do you think he's actually now impersonating Elvis? And she goes, well, that's all he knows. And I'm like, that's crazy. I'm like, he'd be 90 years old. What would he be doing? And I'm like, you know, I bet he would be singing Love Me Tender. Because if you didn't, you'd break his bones. <laughs> you need to love me tender. And then I was think maybe uh, always on my mind would be always slips my mind. <laughs> what I was thinking. I was thinking about different songs like Viva Las Viagra. There's a song for you. Why don't you be singing that, maybe? Little Less Conversation. How about Little Louder Conversation? Because I can't exactly. hear you with my good ear. Yeah, and the other ones, I'm all, uh, all shook up. That's how I like man sure. <laughs> you know he'd be singing that. I'm like, yeah. And Heartbreak Hotels, Heartbreak Retirement Home. That's what I'd be saying. I'm not kidding you there. Maybe my little blue suede slippers. I don't know. I'm like, yeah, I just think maybe it's not a good idea. But I'm telling you right now, I don't think Elvis is alive at 90 years old impersonating Elvis because that just seems crazy. Does Am I the only one that thinks that crazy? It's crazy, crazy, Terry. I know. And you call me crazy, Terry, but you know, my family's the ones that's crazy. Yes. I just tell about them. I just tell the God truth about them. You know, I'm just like, I'm a storyteller, Roger. Just you a story can't make teller. this stuff up, Terry. It's my heritage. I just like telling about my family tree. And you know what my family tree is? It's a crazy tree is what it is. <laughs> it is a crazy tree with limbs just falling everywhere. And everybody's like, oh, that's still good. I'll use it. Or we ain't nothing but kindling. <laughs> it looks like you got a new shower curtain as you quarantine in the bathtub. Look how fancy I am now. Because, you know, I have to hide in the bathroom from my kinfolk coming to talk to me. And so I still, you know what I do if they're not to bother me, I put some tampons outside the door and chocolate and some Midol. And they're like, Lord God, don't go in there. She's mean, Need mean, mean. another beer on that one. Fine, yeah. I'm like, yeah, you know I'm packing a gun in this here bathtub. Don't come in here because I'll shoot you. You know, one time a month, I'll kill anybody. And I can hide a body. Don't get me wrong. I learned so from my daddy. Just kidding. Just kidding. So anyway. I also found out that, you know, I can't find Hannah sanitizer anywhere. So I called my Uncle Ernest, who runs the steel, and I said, Uncle Ernest, can you get me some alcohol? And you know what? He sent me some alcohol, and it's really good for cleaning your hands, and it smells like butter, Scott. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> wow. Look at me with clean hands. <laughs> I need to wash my hands. Could you send some over, please, Terry? You know, Roger, cleanliness is next to godliness. I'll do what I can. Amen. That's just we'll who I am. that. Yes, well, I'll be drinking my tea like I'm over in British. Look, I'm drinking my tea like the queen. I'm practically a princess. <laughs> what else we got going on tonight, Roger? You're Craig's princess, right? I could be a princess. I could be Princess Terry. Mm -hmm. You don't think so? Princess T? Could, could I be Duchess of Craziness? Duchess of Craziness. That's what we'll, That's we'll, it. we'll put that above your, 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 we'll put, instead of Crazy Terry next week, we'll put Duchess of Craziness. Hey, I wear a fancy hat and I'll do my waves. Look at my waves. See, I got that nice. down pat. Look at me. I am practically a duchess. I don't know. That my family will think I said duckus and try to shoot me though. I'm always going to use that word. Crazy. <laughs> oh, look, she thinks she's a duck. You better get your camouflage hat next week. Roger, I can't wear camouflage. Last time I wore camouflage. I'm just going to tell you, my sister's like, I can't see you. I'm going to shoot you. I'm like, how are you going to shoot me if you can't see me? She's like, well, I can't tell if it's you. It could be somebody sneaking up and sounding like you. I'm like, Lord God, who comes up in the mountains and goes, I'm kin to you. Nobody's going to say that unless they kin to you. <laughs> Lord. They're so crazy. They're crazy, though. I don't wear camouflage because I don't look good in Animal Patrick. <laughs> I don't. 
I don't. I don't look good in it. I don't wear it. I don't like getting lost like that in the trees. Because you know what'll happen? An animal will pee on you, and I ain't doing that. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> then a deer won't smell you. Well, I don't like the deer smell you, Roger. What's that about? You don't want them to smell you if you're hunting them. Well, Jan, you need to watch that. Deers are sniffing. I just keep him out of the woods, too. That <laughs> right. Lord, that kind of seems He's dangerous, Roger. Don't do that. You just need to keep away from Bambi. No. Jan, keep him out of the woods. He's a city boy. Just keep him here in the city. Lord. That's our friend Randy Brown. He's in the woods every weekend. Well, Randy, be careful out in them there woods. Because, you know, my family's out there lurking. Just all I'm saying. And they got a lot to drink and a gun. That's all I'm saying. Trouble. Sounds like good time on a weekend, mm. Duchess of yeah. Craziness Terry. That's what we call a family reunion. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever lives, your kin. If you don't live, we're like, yeah, you married into this. <laughs> oh, you did. <laughs> well, Terry, it's good to see you. Yes. Good to see you too, Roger. Hey, look at that race man. Hey. Yeah, we've got uh, we check this out. We got a new program here. Let's see if I can bring him up, Terry. I don't we'll, see him. We'll go from there. And then we'll go to there, and there is Mr. Stephen Knightley from across the pond. Good evening. Good evening, sir. How are you doing? Jimmy Johnson. We're well. How are you? Very well, thank you. Very, very well indeed. Are you sure you're not Jimmy Johnson tonight? You know, there's a reason why I'm wearing this. And a long time ago, um, I'll come from a, not only as we discussed last week, um, a history of transport but I've got a long history in motorsport as well and a couple of years back I was fortunate enough to come over to the States and drive a NASCAR for a, a, a while um, and we had a couple of test sessions and since then um, I was actually in Tony Stewart's car so this is why I've come to be wearing something like this which okay. is a loose link to our Across the Pond Challenge. I learned something about you I did not know that you have done that that's pretty cool. That is Post very cool, story. Stephen. I have indeed. It was a great experience. And anybody that thinks those things are easy to drive, pfft, no. What they would you rather tricky. drive? Um, like an indie car instead of a stock car? I'm Yeah, I'm more of a stock car guy. I'm more of a rough and ready swap a bit of pain a little bit of nudging you know all that kind of racing okay hmm. and you had a power outage tonight what happened you got storms over there no just it, it, 10 minutes before quite literally just came down the stairs uh, got my drink out the fridge nice sierra nevada there and as i turned away from the fridge the whole place went black wow. and the internet dropped out and yeah, everything just went, you know, even mobile signal dropped out. We'll blame it so, on coronavirus, COVID-19. <laughs> I probably blame it on poor maintenance before, but yeah, that's probably not a bad shout. <laughs> All right, you threw down the Across the Pond Challenge. You dropped the gauntlet on us last week on Let's Have a Beer. And the Across the Pond Challenge, why don't you explain what we're doing here tonight, Stephen, Stephen Knightley. Great idea. What are we doing here? So the rules were... For, for you, it was $5. For me, it was £5. You had to find the most British thing that you could find. Mm -hmm. And I, I had to find the most American thing that I could find. Okay. And then we'd come together tonight and we'd see what each other got. I can't wait to see what you've brought for the Across the Pond Challenge, Stephen. So do I go first as the guest or should you go first as the host? You're our guest. You go first, please. Okay. So, this was originally part of it, probably a beer that's yeah. fairly familiar to everybody. Yeah. And I also managed to stumble across. Oh, yeah, yeah, good one. Oh, yes. Favorite. Yes. However, I'm withdrawing these from the competition. I will let Jem have these. She can eat these tomorrow. <laughs> we have a a second hand store which I went in and this is absolutely gospel I swear to you this is what I found and this is why I've come with the motorsport thing today for one of these five English pounds I found an IndyCar team shirt 
Wow. Nice. Wow. There we go. Crazy. Well, forget the driver's French. Okay. Okay. We'll, <laughs> well, we won't remember that. We, we forgot that. <laughs> but there we go. That is an official IndyCar from a second-hand oh. store right. in my small little town. Wow. Well done, awesome. Stephen Knightley. David Elder, our friend, says he has English muffins that he'd like to enter into the competition. <laughs> Yeah, not a bad English shout. Muffins. Do you eat any English muffins? Or is that just a a name for it? Uh, yeah, we do. It depends depends what you put on them. Okay. What would you put on them? Um, anything like muffins or any sort of uh, bread product like that. Some nice thick cream and some nice strawberry jam. Okay. Okay. About like you. It's All right. Jam. All right. Crazy Terry's our judge tonight. Stephen. Okay. And uh, and uh, you can vote on uh, Roger, the good, on the what's that, Terry? The Lord tells me not to. The good Lord tells me not to judge, and now you got me standing live. <laughs> you know my pastor's gonna call me and be like, Terry, you are the you're judge, going to hell. Duchess like, of well, good, let me get some friends. <laughs> All right, yeah. Stephen. When you threw this out, I was just lost. I was totally lost. Did some research. You know, went to Jan. And, and we're looking around, and, and there was one thing that kept coming up. You need to find this food. And, and I love the food topic because you know I love food when you wake up with us on 97.5 WPC. We were food connoisseurs. And the first time I heard this, I'm like, what? Where am I going to find that? And then I heard it a couple more times, and we found it at like a little secondhand store, a little you know, off-the-road store because we do have you know, places here where people, world travelers like yourself come. And... Uh, <laughs> And I want you to know, tell us, how good is this? <laughs> <laughs> Would you pronounce that for us, please? Tell us all about this. Tell Spotted us all about dick. this. What is it? Spotted dick. Yes. Oh, Aunties. my God, I know him. <laughs> <laughs> so this was I'm a little over kidding. $5, just... but is it good to eat? Is, is Auntie's Spotted Dick good to eat? Dick. Dick, how do you pronounce it? <laughs> Spotted dick. Oh. Yeah, that's so it. What is it? Exactly how this? you pronounce it? What is it? Uh, it's uh, uh, like a very heavy, doughy dessert with all kinds of things in there. I think there's there's raisins in there. There's all sorts of fruits, and yeah, it's quite a, a heavy, stodgy. Dessert, you'd probably have that with um, like some thick custard over the top or something. Ice cream, vanilla yeah. ice cream, would that work? Or yeah, that that that'd be great. Yeah, yeah. like bread pudding here in America. Pretty much, yeah. Okay. Very very similar. Gene okay. will like that. Give that to Gene. And Mama Gene will like this, and so maybe she'll come back on the show. <laughs> That's a great find. Great find. <laughs> Well, let's see if we can. I add knew that was British. Terry. I could have had my family here in one. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew? I think I dated him. <laughs> Just kidding. You know, Jennifer Sykes <laughs> says British fruitcake, which is right up my alley because Jennifer wakes up with us. I know probably a ninety-seven point five, and I love my fruitcake in the Christmas time. So it's we found, you do. You we, love we, found we found we found British fruitcake. <laughs> All right, Crazy Terry, you're the judge, even though you're not supposed to. Well, I don't know that I can vote for a spotted dick. I just don't know that I can do that. It just seems wrong because we broke up, and I tried not to be judgy about it with him. And Oh, wait, what were we talking about? Oh, um, I'm going to have to go with the... I, I like the Nevada beer, and I do like the race car jersey thing. Was it called a jersey? Is it called a race car jersey? Indy. Indy. Andy. Andy. Andy jersey. The indecent jersey. I'm going to go to that instead of the spotted dick because that just seems wrong. And I ain't voting for him because you know why? He wasn't good lover. He just wasn't. No, no, no. <laughs> so congratulations to Stephen Knightley wins our first across the pond challenge. Yay. We bow to you. Congratulations. You. Cheers. Thank Cheers. you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Roger, why didn't you let me vote? Because I wanted to lose some pounds. 
<laughs> I don't know why you wouldn't let me. I'd be like, here's five pounds to you lose. I'll lose 20 pounds. <laughs> I'd do that in a heartbeat. You never let me play. I never get to play. Okay. Do you want to be part of the Across the Pond Challenge next week? I do. I want to be a part of Across the Pond. Okay. Stephen, what are we doing next week, sir? What's your idea, please? Ooh, we can go again or we can just double the value. We can take it up to maybe $10. Hmm. How many pounds is that? I could get two of those for 10. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you can. They're worthless. I think the exchange rate is... <laughs> Unless you want to play Connect the Dots. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm going to hell. <laughs> <laughs> In a nice little hand basket made in England. <laughs> Take this That's with fun. you, would you? <laughs> there are some things that just cannot go through customs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Stephen, we're going to up the ante to $10, and you're going to find the most American thing, and Terry is going to find the most British thing. All right. Sounds like a plan. And, and Jan will be the judge. How's that? No, 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 no. Have Don't look. make ju j her sound like that. I tell you this what, you we'll know. have people watch and be the judge, yeah. and then I'll see if how fast I can do the comments. math on my 10 fingers and 10 toes. Yeah. <laughs> All righty, you do that. I can bring my cousin Ernest, and he's got an extra pinky. Does he? <laughs> he does. That's funny. It's That's very funny. helpful when he fishes. <laughs> what does he like to but, fish for, Terry? He likes to, well, in North Carolina, we fish a lot with trout. Uh-huh. Yeah. And everybody uses these worms, but then my Aunt Nora is so picky. She wants to fish with corn. I'm like, who fishes with corn? Who do you think is going to come up and nibble on the corn? Like, oh, look, I'm a fish. Let me go eat some corn because it's all grown in the pond. Like, they even know what corn is. Right. Lord God, they know what worms are, but fish don't know what corn is. How do you get like, corn on oh, look, there's a stalk in the pond. Let's go nibble on it. Lord, they're crazy. <laughs> They're crazy, but she's so highfalutin. She don't want to stick anything, you know, on the hook. I'm like, well, Lord, why don't you just use your upper lip? That'd catch something. It looks like a worm. <laughs> but, you know, I'm a God-feared woman, and I don't say that, but I thank it. <laughs> but, you know, it's not a sin unless you do it out loud. That's right. Just saying. <laughs> you know what? It's like Putin. If it ain't loud, you don't got to own it. That's all I'm saying. You just look at the person next to you like, Lord, you Bad person is going to hell. That's what I do. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Hey Terry, I wonder if you can uh if you can uh spread COVID nineteen with Sorry, a toot. That? Well that is a good question. I haven't I, I haven't know. heard that on TV from Dr. Fauci. Well, I can just tell you I don't think you can because when I poop, all I do is poop confetti because I you know me, I'm practically a friggin' uniform, a corn. I'm a unicorn and I just poop confetti. That's what I do. <laughs> Nice. That's what I do. That's all I do. How's your day? Well, if I were any better, I'd be farting confetti. I'm surprised wow, Craig doesn't rent you out for birthday parties. Didn't say they didn't, Roger. <laughs> didn't say they didn't. You know, I'm good at parties. I'm all, you know, I'm entertaining. I got some great conversational skills. I can sing happy birthday. And I'm the only one in my family that ain't burned their eyebrows off. So I'm safer than most. <laughs> Dang. We don't even let them get in their flames anymore. They see a birthday cake, they think they can just roast a piece of deer on it. I'm like, Lord, that's a cake. Get away. Lord. <laughs> it's crazy. And the next thing you know, they're putting icing all over Ellen, who's the cheap girl in town. I'm like, get the icing off of her. She doesn't need something sweet on her. Those calories, calories are going to absorb. She'll gain a pound. Lord, she sticks out her tongue. She looks like a zipper. Oh she my. needs some weight. That's all I'm saying. Anyway. <laughs> I'm sorry. Let's go back to the racer guy. He's pretty. <laughs> hey, pretty racer, Stephen. Hi, Stephen. Would you like a family tree that doesn't fork? Um, I've got a pretty elaborate family tree. I, I, I don't think you're alone. I think we've all got um, mm -hmm. a couple of people in our family. So, yeah, we ro uh, roll our eyes out every time they come around. <laughs> Like there's one in every family, twelve in mine. That's true. <laughs> there is. <laughs> there's certainly more than smell. one in mine as well. <laughs> well, here in the mountains, we just say God love them, and I think so it's kind of like challenging God. <laughs> <laughs> God love them. Like Jan says, bless your heart. 
yeah, yes. Oh, yeah. yeah, I think we're, we're somewhere between. I think over here we say, God bless them. <laughs> oh, you're so religious. I love that. That's precious. <laughs> you're just precious. You're just a little precious bundle of Christianity. Look at you. <laughs> you know, you know, uh, Duchess of Craziness Terry, uh, he does come to, uh, to Central Florida from time to time because mm -hmm. Stephen has family here in Plant City. Oh, Plant City, that's fancy. Strawberry time. Well, yeah, look at you visiting your family in the city, all highfalutin and like, well, golly. But you I know what? I bet you'd like some butterscotch moonshine. <laughs> yeah, some moonshine would be good. Yeah, I've never actually had any real traditional moonshine. But I do have a jar of production moonshine that I managed to get in this country, which is quite fun. But, yeah, you... you take the lid off of that and yeah you talk about losing your eyebrows you take one <laughs> sniff of that you do you lose your eyebrows then as well I bet. wow you kind of make like against the law liquor kind of sound legal and you say it <laughs> wow that's not legal like and like we'd have it at a table and invite friends over and not just be drinking it out of you know your hands or like uncle earl likes to take his teeth out and make a cup and I'm like, Lord, he's so fancy. You probably don't do that in the England, but in our family, we're resourceful. I know, because you got fancy cups, but I'm just going to tell you, false teeth make a good cup if you just turn them over a little bit. It's like a little plate. You can dip your fingers in and wash them. You need to refine your uh, teacup drinking skills. You need to have that uh, the small finger. And so uh, as, you, as you sip, you need to have this little small finger out like that. Problem is, I'm only trained to stick one finger out, and I can't do that on there. <laughs> all I know. It's all I know, and I can't do it because good Lord don't like it. And it's the only sign language my sister knows, too. I'm like, Lord, could you please learn another word? It's like, obviously not. But anyway, <laughs> saying. Anyway, well, I'm going to look for something England in my life, and I don't know what it's going to be. So I got to be. Look, I almost got a British accent. Did you hear that? I Lord, did. I'm fancy. I'm going to get me a hat. You're a Duchess. I am. I could be Duchess of Chocolate. <laughs> that sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> if I have two chins, am I a double Duchess? Just want to know. <laughs> I'm going to be the devil duchess of egg yolk. It's gonna be Guys, bad. this has been a blast. Let's have a beer. Cheers, everybody. Have a great week. Thank cheers. you. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Till next week. Till next week. We'll, uh, we'll try to do the uh, across the pond challenge. And I'm going to stick this in overnight for you so you can enjoy this, Steve. And you and your family enjoy that. <laughs> I don't think you can mail that stuff, just saying. I think Terry's jealous. Terry, you want me to There's bring it over? There. There's two of them in yeah. here. Been there, done that, wrote a book about it. No. No, no, no. Found that on Tinder, and I ain't going back. Oh, no. my gosh. No, no siree, Bob. They're just... There's got to be rules to the game, Roger. Rules to the game. Not Steven everybody's laid out married the and perfect Jan and has a perfect life. Some of us are hanging out with a man named Leroy who won't wet, zip his own pants. Oh. oh. You know? I know, but he uses two-syllable words, and you know that's attractive to me. I ain't that many of them. I'm like, look, yesterday he said yesterday. And I'm like, oh, my God, look at all those syllables. Made me woozy. Just made me woozy. Ain't education grand. It is. It is. Well, I'm going to practice my English accent. So, tally ho. And the last time I said tally ho, I was talking about somebody. So, I'll try to watch it. Y'all have a great week. Absolutely. Bye. Take care of yourself. Have a great, Be safe. Have a great time. Everybody stay safe. We'll catch up next week on Let's Have a Beer. Take care, Bye. everyone. God Bye. bless you all. Bye-bye. Be kind. Love on somebody virtually. And cheers. Here's to a great weekend. Thanks for joining us tonight. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so fancy and I didn't flip anybody off. Awesome. <laughs>